Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here and I had this fun idea to create a card using a stamp set and then on my next video I'm going to use the same stamp set but different techniques, more mixed media ones, to create an art journal page. So for my project I'm going to start working with these new darkroom door stamps. This one is called Timeless Tulips with uh, two lovely flowers on top of a beautiful background. And then uh, this one is called Friendship and uh, you get tons of sentiments all about friendship such as uh, Buddies, friends are a gift, you make me smile, you are the best. And of course you can use them all together as a border or you can just mask areas and stamp any of the sentiments that you like. So first of all, I'm going to do some stamping for my card. I'm going to stamp the whole image with the tulips and I will be using uh, colors from the new Archival inks. This is Vintage Photo and I'm going to ink up the whole image and stamp it a couple of times to get a good impression. By the way, I'm working on mixed media paper. It is off-white and I love it for this project and for the look that I'm going for. And also it takes inking and the blending beautifully. So it's a lovely uh, cardstock to have on hand. Now I stamped uh, my image a couple of times to get a good impression. And now I'm going to go with black suit archival ink and I'm only going to ink up the edges. This way I will end up with a darker border for my image. And as always, you will find the list of everything I'm using down below in the description. If you are not familiar with darkroom door stamps, they are absolutely gorgeous. They have beautiful collection of stamps. They are from Australia, but they are available in the US as well. And you will find all the links that you need down below. So I stamped this image one more time because I need the flowers since I am planning to cut them out and pop them on my card. Now I'm just going to cut out this panel, so this is going to be the main panel for my card. Now for coloring today I decided to go with my Distress Oxide inks and I'm just going to blend some color on top of the flowers with my finger dabbers. And of course depending on the paper that you choose to stamp on top of, then you can go ahead and use any other type of medium, coloring medium that you like, such as pencils or, or I could have used uh, watercolor paper and use my watercolors or even my alcohol markers. So anyway, I went with this look today and uh, I just blend a couple of colors. These are Spiced Marmalade and Barn Door. And I used my scissors to cut out those flowers and that's why I didn't care if I was going outside of the lines. Now I'm going to add a little bit of color on my background and for that I'm going to use my Distress uh, brushes just because I don't want this to be too saturated. I wanted to have, uh, to have it quite subtle at the background. So I used Broken China for my sky and at the bottom I used Pilt Paint. I get a lot of questions when I use these brushes on my videos and uh, all the questions are about that colored ring that helped me separate which uh, brushes which. Now uh, that's just uh, with acrylic paint or you can use a marker if you have an acrylic marker to go all around that ring and color it. I added some foam tape at the back of my flowers and I'm going to stick them on top of my card so I get a little bit of dimension that I absolutely love and I'm going to mat this panel with a piece of cardstock that's four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm going to stick the panel on top of the other using foam tape at the back. I think the black was perfect for the look that I was going for and at the same time it helps all those colors at the center to pop even more. For my sentiment I just stamped a part of this big border on a piece of cardstock and then I'm going to cut out a thin strip of uh, the sentiment that says friends are a gift. I inked up the edges of this sentiment with my vintage photo just a bit and I popped it on top of my card. Now for the center of the flowers I'm just going to use some clear Nouveau drops and my card is finished. So that was the card for today. Make sure to join me tomorrow for part 2 where I will be using the same layout, the same stamp set but different techniques, more mixed media ones to create an art journal page. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired. Thank you all for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow.